Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ask Allie, your place for spiritual advice for busy people. Ask Allie is the longest running spiritual podcast on iTunes. I've been helping people there since 2005. Today is Tuesday, believe it or not, October 29th, 2019. I want to thank you for tuning me in and giving me a listen to. If you'd like to get a reading or have your energy balanced, to find out more about me or support the podcast, I'll leave the information below in the show's notes. And don't forget, if you like this episode, please rate it. Hi, Sarah. I know. Guys, it's been it's been a while since I've been here. Hello. I hope you all are doing fine. Uh, so much to catch you up on. Um, what? I tried to have a conversation. You were just sleeping. It's Sarah, for those of you who've been around a while. Uh, for some reason, she is now awake. Now that I'm talking to the camera, usually she's asleep. Uh, so what's been going on? Well, my son, Kyle, has already gone off to the Navy. He left early. It was October 17th. I know, which has not been that long ago. And uh, I was proud of myself. I did not erupt into sobs in front of him. Uh, however, I have informed the people I do work with that there are times I may burst out with spontaneous crying. Now, at work, I'm fine. When I'm around people, I'm usually fine. It's home. Home's the hard part. Oh, no. Tears are coming. Home's the hard part because it's just me now. You know, me and the monster cats and dogs, who, by the way, I think they're all doing fine. Uh, I think the last time you and I talked was what? I forgot. It's been so long. Um, August? September? Maybe? September? I don't know. It's been a while. Um, they're all doing okay. Uh, Gimli's still gimping around. Um, his ACLs will never heal on the back. And his knees have both shifted. They point outwards now, which is kind of freaky. Um, but he's on pain meds. That's all I can do uh, to bandage it. He's 10 years old. There's no reason to spend a few, a few thousand, uh, actually several thousand dollars to get both of his legs fixed. Um, labs don't have that long of a life expectancy. So we manage the pain. Um, I'm thinking about getting him some CBD oil to help him along, but I haven't made the determination yet. Uh, just because uh, me... As a school bus driver, I'm not allowed to be around it. And I don't want to, I don't know, accidentally drop some on me and then have my my uh, my surprise drug test. Um, that would be bad. So that's kind of iffy there. Maybe we'll try it this summer or over Christmas break when I'm not going into work. I don't know yet. So that said, what else we got going on? Ah! There is a new uh, JC, Joshua and Selena, they're the guides that I channel, reading. Um, there's only two spots left. And this reading isn't like the rest of one they've done. Um, I like this reading because it's more of a guide than a reading. Uh, it gives you uh, insight. It gives you, I think it gives you some pretty good insight on who you are. And it's based on, um, according to JC, there are, I think, I'm trying to remember now, 10, 11 different pillars of beings, of star seeds, And we all have a main pillar that we associate with and then a secondary pillar. And what pillars we're in um, determines how we interact um, with others and our relationships, our money, our spiritual growth, all of that. So it's it's been a pretty eye-opening uh, reading for a lot of people. If this is something you're interested in, um, it's posted over at Ally Thee's Friends. You might have to scroll down a bit, but it's there. There's two spots left, so if you want one, please grab it. There are some payment plans available, but most of the payment plans um, already have a weekend pit when they're done paying, and I do it. I only do one a weekend, and I have to have them done by the end of the year. Uh, so just get a hold of me ASAP. If this is something that's in interest to you guys. Uh, also, an Alethe's friends, you're going to find, I call it Blast from the Past. What I'm doing is I'm searching back through my old gypsyadvice.com site and finding um, readings that I no longer do. I do readings, but not these readings. 
they're not posted on my site at all. And then bringing them back and um, throwing them up on Ally Thieves Friends. Uh, they're up for 48 hours. And then I do them the following weekend. Um, there's some up right now. I don't know if you'll have enough time today to get to them because I don't think I'll have enough time to post this until I come home from work this evening. Um, but if there is enough time, uh, grab them. I mean, there's two of them. One is the, uh, what is it? Stone reading. They used to do stone readings. And another one is an in-depth future look with tarot cards that I used to do. Um, but they're both on there. Uh, what you do is you let me know you want one. Or both you pay it I schedule it for the upcoming weekend so whatever you if you either of you get any today um, it's for the weekend um, and also something I had stopped doing I used to do this when I was on eBay doing readings I used to give a free spell out with each um, reading it's and it's not personalized you can you can personalize it to yourself and switch it around but I have one for love and actually I have two for love and two for money um, I have one for love to bring somebody to you and one for love to strengthen a relationship stop it Sarah and then for money I have one to attract money to you and one for a better job so there's four different ones you can choose from and for each reading you get you get a spell so um, yeah so that's on the site that happens gonna happen every week I'm gonna post them Sunday they'll come down on Tuesday but if you guys listen to this tonight or what is tomorrow Wednesday and it's past the time due send me an email anyways if you want one and you can have it since I'm doing this late okay all right so what else I got going um, I'm thinking about starting to do live shows as in, in person um, this is something that I've been weighing for quite some time and I just haven't done it uh, one because I'm chicken shit and two <laughs> I'm pretty honest two um, Kyle took a lot of my time. I mean, he did. Uh, so now I'm not his chicken ship, and Kyle's not here. So it's freeing me up time. And I want you guys to vote on which one you like the most. I have two of them. One's called Life of a Psychic, where I um, talk about psychic, being psychic in my life, and etc. The trials and tribulations <laughs> and the good spots, because there's lots of all three that come with it. And um, at the show, People would put topics in a hat. There'd be, you know, pen and paper down below. People would write something in, drop it in, and I'd pick topics and talk about it um, throughout the night. And then pick several audience members and do a reading for them live there. That's the first one. Um, second one is Coffee with Allie. This one um, I'm envisioning is more intimate. It's um, sitting around and having a conversation with anywhere between maybe 30 and 50 people. Um, about being psychic and other other worldly things um, topics will be picked about but who's there you know you got something to you want to talk about raise your hand or something or shout it out and we'll talk about it you know sitting around having food and drink in conversation um, and stop it Sarah <laughs> and I'm thinking about doing that um, I'm really heavily considering the coffee with Allie to start but I want your opinions right now. It's tied <laughs> on the poll I put on Facebook. So that's where you can find it. Ally Thieves Friends. Please vote on which one um, you'd like me to do. All right. I know there's something else. I can feel it. Oh, Life of a Psychic. I have been thinking about um, starting a live podcast about that. And either I think... Well, probably on uh, Instagram stories or something. Um, like when something happens, you know, I just I video wherever I'm at the time and tell you about whatever happened because life as a psychic, it, <laughs> it can be very surprising at times. Um, kind of crap that just knocks you over. And other times, you know, walk into a room and you can instantly feel who you want to talk to, who you don't want to talk to, or even if you shouldn't be in the room or you own the room you know as soon as you step in a lot of times um, but you know stuff like that and and different um, things that pop into my head for my guides and other people's guides that like to put things in there for me to shout out to whomever and uh, you know if I have a message for somebody all of a sudden I can you know, get on and tell them uh, yeah so I'm thinking about doing that too 
I know I have lots of things. Oh, and something else, something else. Oh, I didn't write this down on my notes. Um, I've started a podcast which won't air until January. I decided to start the 777 Institute in January and it comes with a podcast um, called Shine the Light. And Shine the Light, um, what I'm doing is I'm interviewing light workers. And I talk, when I say a light worker, I'm talking healers, past life regressionists, um, uh, spiritual business strategists, yeah, the whole gamut. If you consider yourself, you know, working kind of woo like, if you're woo like and um, are helping people and you have a business, I would like to interview you. And so far, the people I've interviewed, oh, I cannot wait to release this um, this podcast because this has been amazing. There are a set number of questions, certain questions I ask every guest. There's a certain format. And the answers so far, they've been pretty cool. Um, I might even have someone interview me at some point in time. But um, so I wouldn't mind answering the questions myself. I don't want to interview me. I mean, how boring is that? Uh, so yeah, I cannot wait, cannot wait. Um, so if you're interested in being interviewed for Shine the Light, uh, drop me an email to podcast at 777institute.com. If you're interested in knowing when the podcast starts and the site opens up, which would be, I think I wrote it down as January 24th. It is the, it's a, it's a moon. <laughs> So moon, I think it's the full moon. It comes out at 444. I mean, how perfect is that? So that's when it opens. Um, but if you're interested about 777 and the podcast, if you go to 777institute.com, drop your email in, I'll let you know when the podcast starts too. I cannot wait for you guys to hear these interviews. <laughs> they are so awesome. Um, I think that's it now. All right. So let's bust a move. We got the Oracle Card Overview for the week of October 29th, because that's today, uh, 2019. The year's just zipping by. Now I know what I forgot to tell you. I got to tell somebody this, so I might as well be you guys. So, last night, Bill pops in my head, okay? He hasn't been there in a while, but there he is, saying, hey, how you doing? And um, we're having no telepathic conversations that we've had in the past. And I go to sleep. And who shows up in my dream all of a sudden? Ted. I was kind of surprised. I thought Bill would be there, but it was Ted. And it was, it was so weird because he was at a family gathering of mine. And I'm telling my mom, I'm like, Mom, look, it's Ted. It's Ted. And she's like, who? What? She knows damn well who he is. And I'm like, Mom, look. And so I'm explaining, throwing her clues on who he is. And he's back behind me listening. And he's just kind of shaking his head, but we had so, we had awesome conversations about so many things about his life and his marriage right now, about what's going on with me and Kyle, um, one of our past lives together, uh, about us meeting up in the future, and he was really keen on having Peach Cobbler. We had Peach Cobbler there for some reason, and we had to put the bottom crust part, put the peach on top, I don't know, and then we put it in this... Um, not a warmer, but it, it was an oven. Broiler? Broiler. That's what I'm looking for. And um, I said, you need to make your own. And he's like, what? What do you mean I got to make my own? I said, I know people do things for you all the time, but in this house, um, your hands and your legs are not broken. You do stuff on your own. All right? And while he's trying to figure out this peach cobbler, for some reason, I jump in the car and I go around the block. I don't know why. But there's an animal. Oh, I had to go get Felix. How do I get Felix, my cat, from the vet? And I get to the vet to pick up Felix. And I see him running down the street, and he has a rabbit in his mouth. And I looked at the I came in to tell the vet, I just saw my cat running down the street. He goes, well, cats do that. I said, I believe he has one of your rabbits in the mouth. He goes, ah, oh, he's doing what cats do. They eat. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, so I drive around the neighborhood. I finally find Felix. I didn't find the rabbit anywhere, but I found Felix. He was pretty happy. He jumps in my car and we go back and I see that Ted is trying to figure out the broiler. So we figured out, we figured out the broiler and then my alarm went off. I'm like, weird. All of that's weird. Okay. So 
Where is the camera? There it is. We're going to do Denise Lynn's Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards. I remembered something else. I can't help it. There's a lot in my head, guys. Um, when I do start having the Coffee with Allie and the Life of a Psychic, that stuff, um, whomever is in my VIP group, which is only 25 bucks a month as it is, you get a reading for me, cards drawn, energy stuff. Um, but who's ever in that group gets half off to those events always. All right. All right. Go back. Um, remember guys, this is an overview of the upcoming week. So not every card may pertain to every person who's watching. Let's just keep that in mind. Little black kitty. Zena, stop it. Oh, don't you talk to me like that. Stop. All right, so let's pick three cards. This is this. These are how my days go. Yes, having talks with animals. They do talk back many times. And one more. All right. Those. Here, see what we got going here. Ooh, like that, like that. Oh, pretty good this week, guys. Despite the fact that Mercury retrograde <laughs> does start Thursday, Halloween. Just a heads up. Um, Mercury retrogrades can be very uh, aggravating at times, but there's a lot of stuff you can get done during a Mercury retrograde retrograde there's a lot of cleaning you can do there's a lot of there's a lot of planning um so you know mercury retrograde is not not you know horrible it's just that you shouldn't sign any contracts and things could go wrong with communication you know no big don't move into a new house normally or start a new job or buy a new car might have problems with it but you know other than that it's not that bad but this week really little black kitty Made my made my thing go out of focus. Um, so first, guys, we have Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. So this week, I know we have a lot of red energy this week, which can be um, aggravating. It can cause anxiety and depression and a lot of anger and impatience. But at the same time, all that red energy can be used for manifestation. So this week, if you want to get something going, do it now. <laughs> do it now before uh, Mercury retrograde hits Thursday this afternoon. It hits and you're going to move forward. Also, our next card is First Light, beginning a new cycle. So success, taking a chance, we begin a new cycle. And I might want to note uh, those who are watching the video, my computer's about to die. Yeah. And the colors are all messed up on the monitor, so I'm probably going to be messed up. The cards are messed up. I kind of have a red tint to me. Um, yeah. So there we have it. And then the last one, guys, is Wondrous Universe. Walk in beauty. We have to pay attention to what's around us because... There are little wondrous moments of beauty all the time. We're just too busy, you know, in our phones or in our heads that we don't notice. This week, they're going to be noticeable for a lot of people. And them being noticeable, it being noticeable, might help you get to success and have you start a new cycle. Be aware of what's going on around you. Don't get lost in yourself. Don't get lost in your thoughts. Whatever's happening this week, whatever it may be, and it's going around in your head an awful lot, just remember, whatever it is, this too will pass. Everything always passes. Everything always moves forward. Um, where it slows down is when we're holding on to it and like, <laughs> you know, throwing a tantrum and not wanting to go anywhere. Um, that's when it usually sticks around. Uh, guides told me to tell somebody that. So, if the message is for you, there you go. Um, 
but yeah those so these are three pretty good cards guys gates of triumph success expands in our life first light beginning a new cycle and wondrous universe walk in beauty okay guys all right um also there have been several people who listen to this and thank you um who have emailed me um or left me comments or something for me to be on your shows i just haven't had time to respond and when i remember to respond i'm nowhere near anything to respond with um and by the time i'm either home or i'm with my phone or my tablet or something by that time something else has already occupied my time and i forget so i am not ignoring you on purpose i am not i am not i am not um in fact when you send me emails i stir them so that i remember to go back and i just keep i just keep forgetting all right this few months have been very um jam-packed and very emotional and it's just the way my life goes sometimes so please forgive me um and i will get in touch with you so the topic the time is now and i chose that to be the topic today because that is the line that keeps popping into my head <laughs> several times a day every day and it kind of annoys me because i think what if i don't want the time to me now whatever it is and jc in their infinite wisdom of guiding me and guiding you guys um when they say the time is now is what are you waiting for when you want to start a new diet or a new exercise routine or um pick up the phone and talk to someone you haven't talked to in a while or go after a new job or go back to school or look at new car or buy a new car what are you waiting for now i know for a lot of people money you know but if you ask yourself or tell yourself the time is now the time is now to make whatever change whatever venture forward you need to make and i'm telling you we all need to make venture forward you know, all to take that step none of us are immune from this none of us and the more we try to hold on to the status quo and do not let that step forward um, the more upset we're going to get, the more angry we're going to get, the more nervous, the more anxious, the more we're going to get stuck in our head. Um, and then things just start happening. You know, things you don't want to ha happen because you refuse to take a step forward. And it's only a step. So what is it that you've been putting off forever? Like for me, Coffee with Allie, Life of a Psychic. I have literally been putting this off since... 2007 of course i don't think i called it that back either one of those back then but that's how long i've been putting off why and my excuse was always kyle well he's no longer an excuse uh the 777 institute why i always put that off my excuse was kyle i don't have the excuse anymore right um why haven't you finished soulful connections oh, i never had time my excuse was kyle I don't have the excuse anymore eventually all of our excuses will fall away now we can search for another one i could very easily come up with others i mean don't get me wrong i can come up with other excuses um mainly because i'm a chicken shit can be <laughs> very much so at times um, i'm the type of person that i'm a behind the scenes type of person i like to control things and have somebody else you know be the front man but i'm the front man in this for me and being in front of people a lot of people and talking uh, my mind tends to race as most of you know this who have been listening to me for a while and jumps from boom 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 and when i'm talking in front of a group of people it does the same thing even if i have a list i still jump everywhere uh, and I think that makes me very nervous to be in front of a group of people and therefore, you know, kind of chicken shitty. But I can use that as an excuse. I can. And it's a valid one, you know, but it's not going to work anymore. That does, none of that works anymore. Um, 
I am very grateful for my house. I am grateful for the fact that I have all my animals here for my job, that my car still gets me back and forth. Oh, I bless that car. Um, but it is time for me and all my animals here to move forward. Kyle took a huge leap joining the Navy. Holy crap. You want to talk about someone that threw it out of his comfort zone? There it was. He stopped using excuses. And now me. Now you. So when we're waiting to do something, I mean, are we promised tomorrow? No. Are we promised, you know, five hours from now? No. So if you want a new car but you don't have the money for it, go look at them. Go test drive. You know, that starts to get the energy moving in that direction. If you want to talk to somebody but still kind of nervous picking up the phone, send them a text. Send them a Facebook message. That gets the energy out there moving forward. The time is now for you to do whatever it is you're meant to do. Okay, you know what it is. It's buried in there. You may have buried it under a whole poop load of excuses, but it's in there. And Joshua and Selena are very, very loud that the time is now. Not always the time now for me, again, with the shows and the 777 Institute and the books, but they're very loud for everybody else. Um, if the time is now for you to take a stand in your political beliefs or your religious beliefs, then take a stand. Who are you? It, you can't hide anymore. The time for hiding and being a um, you know, shrinking violet, as they say, is gone. You can't do it anymore. You can't hide anymore. The time is now to step up. The time is now to make a difference in your life into other people's lives who you care about or causes you care about. Nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody. Now, if you're absolutely content in your life and everything's perfect and you're happy 24-7, you're lying. <laughs> Nobody's happy 24-7. It's impossible. There's always something that we think, mm, maybe we should do this. Maybe I should start that blog or that podcast or do an Instagram or do an Instagram stories or learning more about social media or how to do videos or how to edit videos. There's always something. And whatever it is, the time is now. And I want you to say that to yourself every single day between now and next Monday, the time is now. All right, get off your butts. I'm getting off mine. And let's get out there and do what we're supposed to do. All right, guys? All right. So here we are at the end. And if you've liked this episode of Ask Allie, please rate it and tell your friends. And in case no one's told you today, you are effing awesome. And I love you. Thank you so much for being here, listening to me, watching me, and uh, just being you. The world needs you. I need you. Have a fantastic week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.